cosmology underwent a monumental shift with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope on Christmas Day 2021. Since its deployment, this advanced telescope has revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos with its impressively sharp, high-resolution infrared capabilities. James Webb has peered back into the earliest stages of the universe, providing sharp, pristine, and beautiful insights into the formation of stars, galaxies, and planetary systems, including our own solar system. The capabilities of James Webb have surpassed expectations. Astronomers anticipated discovering infant galaxies, yet the telescope unveiled an unprecedented number of them, some of which defy conventional understanding. These early galaxies challenge our current cosmological models, raising questions about the origins of the universe and the validity of established theories. As we delve deeper into the distant universe, our expectations are continuously challenged. We anticipate observing a gradual decrease in the number of large, bright galaxies as we journey back in time, yet James Webb's discoveries present a different reality, a plethora of unexpected galaxies, some even seemingly older than the universe itself. By probing these ancient galaxies, we essentially ask the universe about its formative years and how it evolved into its present state. Equipped with spectroscopic capabilities, the James Webb Space Telescope allows us to test our existing models of the universe, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and potentially reshaping our understanding of cosmic history. The significance of James Webb extends beyond its ability to capture stunning cosmic phenomena. It is rewriting the narrative of our cosmic origins. Projects like Webb Sewers, Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey are uncovering galaxies dating back billions of years, challenging our preconceptions and expanding our view of the cosmos. One remarkable discovery is a galaxy named after the daughter of researcher Stephen Finn Lin. This galaxy, dating back 13 billion years, defied conventional expectations with its brightness and hue, challenging our fundamental understanding of the early universe and illustrating that our cosmos is far richer and more complex than previously imagined. The James Webb Space Telescope's remarkable capacity to discern extremely distant galaxies stems from its utilization of the infrared wavelength, crucial for observing galaxies that have receded significantly due to the expansion of the universe. While the Hubble Space Telescope, primarily operating in the optical light wavelength, had detected some remote galaxies, its observations were limited. As galaxies move away from us, their light shifts toward longer, redder wavelengths in a phenomenon called redshift, diminishing their visibility in optical light and necessitating observation in the infrared spectrum. Hubble's instruments strained to detect even a small number of these distant galaxies. However, James Webb swiftly surpassed these achievements, identifying a multitude of exceedingly distant galaxies within days of initiating its scientific operations. When scientists discuss these galaxies, they often refer to their age rather than their distance due to the challenge posed by the universe's expansion, which complicates traditional distance measurements. For example, Maisie's galaxy, 13 billion years old, appears much farther away than its age might suggest due to the universe's ongoing expansion. James Webb's near-infrared spectrograph enables more precise age estimations by analyzing spectral lines, which allow astronomers to determine a galaxy's actual redshift, a measure of its distance and age. Initially estimated to have a redshift of 11.8 based on photometric observations, subsequent spectroscopic analysis revealed a redshift of 11.4, placing it among the oldest galaxies confirmed by spectroscopy. These discoveries challenge previous cosmological models, suggesting that galactic formation likely commenced earlier and proceeded more rapidly than thought. The presence of galaxies mere tens of millions of years after the Big Bang implies a swifter emergence of massive galaxies than initially hypothesized, which has profound implications for our understanding of dark matter and the formation of early universe structures. While these findings have not invalidated leading cosmological models, they underscore the need for further investigation and refinement. James Webb's observations have unveiled a universe that is far richer and more intricate than previously envisioned, reshaping our understanding of cosmic evolution. As scientists continue to probe the cosmos with this revolutionary telescope, they anticipate further revelations that will deepen our comprehension of the universe's origins and evolution. The brightness of a galaxy is intricately linked to its mass, as a galaxy's luminosity largely stems from its constituent stars. 
By assuming a certain average brightness and mass for individual stars, astronomers can estimate a galaxy's overall mass. However, astronomers had believed that galaxies could not have accumulated massive sizes in the relatively short time since the universe's inception. Jorge Moreno, an associate professor of astronomy at Pomona College, likened this discrepancy to encountering a teenager in a kindergarten classroom. Until recently, most galaxies were categorized into two main types. Spirals, with disk-like structures and spiral arms of dust and gas, and ellipticals, appearing as smooth, spherical masses of light. Astronomers previously assumed that early universe galaxies would lack the structured classification seen in modern galaxies. Yet, some of the early galaxies detected by James Webb exhibit remarkable structure and brightness, resembling galaxies observed in the local universe. This unexpected structure and luminosity have prompted astrophysicists to question the age of the universe itself, as the presence of such massive galaxies in the early universe contradicts previous models. One researcher has proposed that the universe may be roughly twice as old as previously estimated, around 26.7 billion years, although this hypothesis remains controversial and lacks consensus among scientists. The discrepancy between existing models and observational data may be due to factors such as the role of dark matter in the early universe or unaccounted for forces influencing galaxy formation. Even before the advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists recognized the early universe as vastly different from the cosmos we observe today. During this epoch, galaxies were predominantly composed of hydrogen and helium, shaped by dark matter, and hosted massive, short-lived stars. The absence of heavy elements in the early universe underscores its distinct chemical composition compared to today's cosmos. Furthermore, the earliest stars, known as Population Three stars, differed significantly from modern stars. These primordial stars were larger, hotter, and bluer, emitting more ionizing radiation due to their elemental composition, devoid of heavier elements. Although no Population Three stars have been directly observed, Astronomers speculate that the James Webb Space Telescope may provide the means to detect these elusive celestial objects, offering invaluable insights into the universe's formative years. In essence, the James Webb Space Telescope has been designed to revolutionize our understanding of the early universe. The tantalizing evidence it has gathered brings us closer to uncovering the enigmatic first stars of the cosmos, offering a glimpse into the universe's distant past and shedding light on the fundamental processes that shaped its evolution. Discussing billion-year-old history may initially seem abstract, but it holds significant relevance for understanding the universe as we perceive it today. With its unparalleled capabilities, the James Webb Space Telescope is providing unprecedented insights into the cosmos, shedding light on previously obscured aspects. This deeper understanding is crucial for comprehending the origins and evolution of celestial bodies, including our own Milky Way galaxy. Astronomy operates on vast time scales, making it impossible to directly observe objects like galaxies across their lifespans. To study galaxy development, astronomers must scrutinize distant and ancient counterparts, akin to viewing baby pictures of the Milky Way. This endeavor is fundamental to unraveling the intricate processes underlying galaxy formation and evolution, offering critical insights into our cosmic origins. Moreover, the quest for extraterrestrial life has taken an intriguing turn with NASA's revelation of 17 discovered exoplanets that may harbor subsurface oceans beneath thick sheets of ice. These worlds, reminiscent of the icy moons of Jupiter, present promising prospects for detecting biosignatures or chemical signs of life. Despite their frigid surface temperatures and lower density compared to Earth, internal heating mechanisms from radioactive decay and tidal forces from host stars may sustain subsurface oceans. Cryovolcanic eruptions, akin to ice volcanoes, could further indicate geological activity and potential habitats for life. In a remarkable development, Scientists have also uncovered Mars's atmospheric dynamics, revealing a transient event where a portion of its atmosphere was temporarily whisked away into space. This event, observed by NASA's Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution MAVEN, orbiter, highlights the dynamic interplay between Mars and the solar wind, offering unprecedented insights into the Martian atmosphere's response to solar activity. The implications of these discoveries extend far beyond mere scientific curiosity, 
informing our understanding of planetary systems, habitability, and the broader mechanisms shaping our universe. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, each revelation serves as a stepping stone toward unraveling the mysteries of existence, challenging our preconceptions and expanding the boundaries of human knowledge. The recent atypical episode observed at Mars, courtesy of the MAVEN orbiter, marks a significant event in Martian atmospheric dynamics. This rare occurrence, the first of its kind in nearly a decade of MAVEN's mission, unfolded when a swiftly moving region of solar wind overtook its slower counterpart, effectively sweeping away Martian atmospheric material. The resultant sparse region reached Mars on December 25, 2022, providing scientists a unique opportunity to witness the planet's atmosphere expand, akin to its hypothetical state orbiting a less turbulent star. This unexpected event, described by MAVEN team leader Jasper Hawkes as a Christmas present from nature, serves as a perfect scientific experiment, enabling researchers to study how extreme solar events and their absence influence Mars's atmosphere. It offers valuable insights into the planet's evolution and has implications for understanding atmospheric processes on other celestial bodies, especially those lacking the magnetic protection Earth enjoys. This knowledge is pivotal for understanding atmospheric escape mechanisms and their implications for habitability and atmospheric retention on planets with thin or absent magnetic fields.